This is TFNN, the Tiger Financial News Network. TFNN, headline news update. Good morning, everyone. Basil Chapman here on this 30th day of October. Just about to wrap it up. Ooh, what a month. Um, and we're looking at this Monday. We're looking at the Tiger Financial News Network 10 a.m. market update. Dow is up 300. It was down over 300 on Friday. It was up. Uh, it hasn't taken out the high, the high of Friday. You remember we almost we, we opened and just slumped immediately. And uh, that the high on Friday was 32.787. High today so far is 32.745. Just a little bit under that. <clears throat> Now, I'll talk about this. I don't want to take time right now, but in my show coming up, the Tiger Technicians, I'll talk about the VIX index and what should happen after Friday. If the S&P futures were horrible on Friday, on Monday, Sunday night, going to a really ugly Monday morning. No, we've not done that. We've stalled any decent low. This could be a bounce, but it's not the low. It's not even a low. It's just a bounce so far. What we're looking at is the S&P has also had a very nice, so the Dow's up 0.90%, S&P's up 0.1%, up 41 at 4158, took out the high of Friday. That's important. The QQQ uh, has taken out the high of Friday. That's also important, up 45 at 349. The IWM, the Russell 2000, um, nah, it's already still struggling. It's up 1.34 at 163. Now, this is going to be interesting. We've been talking, I've been talking about this for some time. I've been saying gold is a harbinger of geopolitical fear, but not all the gold stocks are doing well. The silver today just had a big bounce. So gold is up 11. That's nothing to sneeze at. It's, it's a pretty big move. Um, and silver is up 3%, up 0.68 at 25.6. Keeps catching up, stored right at the 200 period moving average. Oh, there's a lot to talk about when I return. Now, let's get back to the DXY. The DXY is the dollar, dollars down. Holding OK is down 27 ticks at 106.30. And if you're looking at bonds, you thought that bonds would be screaming to the upside. Nah, they're down 7.30 seconds. If you thought that crude oil under these conditions would be screaming to the upside. Nah, down $1.56 at 83.94. I'll be back for the Tiger Traditions Hour. Have we seen the high of the day? We'll have to talk about that when I return. Basil Chapman, High Get Munitions Hour, coming up. Check out my opening call, Daily Newsletter.